Hi, I'm Tori and welcome to my kitchen. This is another chapter of Cooking for One. Tapas is something that I usually eat with friends and quite a bit of pink wine, but it's also one of my favourite ways to eat. This is a way that I've finally found to make tapas fun for one. As soon as I come home, I grab a bowl and I grab three eggs and I put two of them straight into the bowl and with it I add a handful of frozen peas, which are always in my freezer because I use them for everything, including broken toes, and I add a handful of potato chips. And then I add one more egg white. Um, that gives it a little bit more liquidity and it also helps the potato chips soften and the peas to soften as well. Then I add the other egg yolk, the lone stray one that's hanging about. I put that into a canister that I can use a stick blender with and I'm going to make that into a sort of tomato garlicky aioli that's going to give the tortilla a really oozy gooeyness to it. So once this is turned into a sloppy-ish mess and the potato chips have given up a bit of hope, I'm going to put a frying pan, a non-stick one, on to about a medium heat. And I want to check that the frying pan's at the right heat, not by using my finger, but by using a garlic clove. So I add just a drizzle of olive oil into the pan, and then I swirl it around. And I can feel the heat radiating up there, but in order for me to really check, I take half the clove, and I swirl it around the pan. Careful of my fingers, and that's starting to sizzle. And by swirling the garlic clove around the pan, I also help season the oil. So, very gently pluck those out, and the oil's nice and garlicky. Okay. And then I take my peas, my potatoes, and my eggs. I turn the heat up to high, because I want it to get a good, nice crust on the outside, and I pour it straight in. And you can hear that sizzle. Get all of the egg and then swirl the pan around a bit. And now it's got crust and the outside is starting to get some integrity to it. And I turn it down to a medium heat. And I'm just going to let that potter away for about two or three minutes while I make my aioli. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do with this lone egg yolk is I want to add a bit more garlic. So I take the other half of the clove and I just grate it in. You could use garlic out of a jar if you couldn't be bothered, or if you were feeling a bit shy, you could leave it out. But I promise you, it's worth it for the flavour. So I put that into the canister. And using my same spatula, swirl it round and round until there's orange garlic slurry. Now I'm just going to rinse off my single spatula and I'm going to quickly check on my tortilla and I can start to lift it up around the edges. Now at this point I want to add a little bit of cheese. Parmesan is good. Uh, tasty cheese would be fine. You could also use mozzarella but I've always got a sad little hunk of parmesan hanging around in the fridge. So I'm just going to grate a slurry of that over the top for a bit of extra fun. And then because I have a fry pan that has a metal handle, which is brilliant, I can put this now under the grill in the oven so it can get crunchy on the top. Now if you don't have a metal fry pan handle, don't put it in the grill because it will melt and it will be very sad. You can just keep cooking it on top of the hob. But it's a worthwhile investment, I promise. So that's on a medium heat grill, and I'm just going to turn that up for a minute or so, so it can get crispy. Okay, back to the aioli. I've got a stick blender, which I use for smoothies a lot of the time, but it's also great for this. Drizzle in about a tablespoon of oil, no more than that, aside, add your stick blender, and whiz like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Nice 
nice loose mayonnaise consistency. <laughs> tomatoes with eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of cherry tomatoes, which are hiding over here, probably about four or five in total for the dinner. The rest I'm going to eat as snacks later. And I'm just going to dice three of them, eat half, and add the others in with the aioli. fantastic sort of sunset pink colour and gives me that great combination of oil, garlic and tomato, which I love in tomato bread so much. That's great. Okay, so now we're going to check on the tortilla. Careful, the handle will be very hot, so you're going to want to use a tea towel for that. And it's puffed around the edges. The potatoes and the chips are hidden inside there, and that's a pretty good feast for one. Okay, I'm going to transfer that straight out and onto the plate, and then I'm going to top it with hamon. So if you're a vegetarian, you could use some roasted red peppers, or you could just stay straight with tomatoes and a rocket. Some greens, because more green is good. My tomato. Aioli, drizzle over the top. And a couple of extra cherry tomatoes for texture and fun. So this is probably one of the quickest tortillas that you'll see. The idea of using the potato chips, I can't take any credit for. That comes directly from Ferran Adria, chef of El Bulli, one of the best restaurants in the world that's just closed. He's a pretty clever guy. So, I'm just going to check that. And what it could really use is a bit of extra seasoning. Some salt and pepper. Don't be shy about the pepper. And salt. And that is great brunch, lunch, or dinner. And since it's dinner right now, I'm going to take that and a glass of pink wine, and I'm going to head to the couch. Thanks so much. I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.